I'm doing great. How are y'all doing today? Doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, Coach, uh, before we get to questions, um, can you just start us off um, with some thoughts on last week's game against Arkansas State and the upcoming game against New Mexico State? Yes. Uh, well, I think that, uh, again, I think that we improve uh, each week. I think we've got a lot to be encouraged about uh, with our young football team and uh, obviously the offense being able to, you know, put up 500 yards of offense. Uh, is very encouraging being able to run the ball uh, with some of our high stuff is encouraging but ultimately we're looking for our first win and uh, in Arkansas State and, and Coach Anderson and his staff did a did a good job uh, in the game uh, we do have some encouraging things on defense we had five takeaways the other day uh, but we've got to find ways to get points out of them and we got to find ways to be more productive on third down and uh, and we're uh, Heading in the right direction with everything that we are doing. Uh, we just gotta gotta get over that hump and find a way to get a win. Period. End of story. Um, as we go into this game with New Mexico State, uh, you know, very very improved football team, and uh, Doug does a tremendous job not only as a head coach but uh, also running the offense. You know, they're one of the more explosive offenses really in the country, uh, and putting up uh, points. Quarterback that's a very good player, got good talent around him at the skill positions. Uh, a very talented Larry Rose, you know, former conference player of the year, and uh, the ability to, to both throw and run uh, certainly presents challenges uh, that they have. Their defense, in my opinion, is one of the most improved groups uh, from last year to this year that I've seen. They're playing very hard. They tackle very well and, uh, and, and are, you know, really doing some nice things all the way around. Uh, they've got good players uh, on that side of the ball and uh, – particularly what you see at the linebacker position and at the safety positions, uh, just from a fundamental standpoint and a tackling standpoint and the improvement that they've been able to make. Special, special teams are very uh, – they, they do a nice job, and, uh, and they're able to make plays when they're given the opportunities to. So it'll be a challenge for us this week. Looking forward to being back at home with Paulson on a, on a Saturday. Coach, thank you very much. Um, you mentioned the, the five turnovers or five takeaways from last game. What do you take away or, and who stood out to you on defense as you move into this next game? Well, we had four guys that had their first uh, career interceptions. So, you know, uh, I think that what you see is a lot of guys, again, that are able to uh, – that are able to – that are making improvements each week. And uh, I think you see guys, it's certainly been something that we've tried to really not just emphasize but overemphasize in practice and how important those things are. Uh, the challenging thing with the five takeaways is that, you know, we're not able to get very many points off of them, and that's where we've got to work together as a offense, defense, and special teams and putting our four, you know, parts, our sideline as well, and putting those things together to be able to equal points uh, to come off of them. Coach, you were able to hit a couple of big plays against Arkansas State in the passing game. Did you feel like your passing game took a step forward last week and as you move into this next game? Well, I think it has, and I think that what you see is, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of the receivers that we have are guys that are, you know, uh, first-time starters that are improving each week and uh, got a lot of different guys that are catching balls for us, you know, really over the last two games. And then, uh, and I think you, you continue to see each week the progression and the development of the quarterback with Shia Wirtz. And uh, I think he's tr just improved tremendously over the last couple of weeks. And, uh, and I know that's all he's going to continue to do. Uh, and so, again, you know, I think that uh, a vast improvement in what you've seen, um, you know, in the passing game for us and a vast improvement at the quarterback and the skill receiver positions as well. Coach, finally, um, what's really the strategy against New Mexico State um, when a team like that comes in that poses some matchup problems on the outside and um, as a running back like Larry Rose III? Uh, well, they certainly create some problems for you. Uh, you've got to be able to do a good job of making sure that uh, you're playing in your coverages the way you need to. Again, they're a very explosive offense, one of the most explosive offenses in the country with big plays. Uh, you got to make sure you're doing a good job of, of playing at a fast pace uh, throughout practice so you can make sure you guys have the calls and the communication piece that comes with that uh, across the board to get all 11 people doing the, the same thing and the right thing. And, uh, and and then, obviously, like you mentioned, I mean, the challenge of, of, of a dynamic player like Larry Rose and what he's been able to do in his career, um, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be a big challenge for us as we move forward. And uh, we've got a plan we feel like put together that will give us an opportunity to, uh, to, to slow both of those things down and to be able to play well on defense. 
Well, Coach, thank you very much for your time this morning. We appreciate it, as always. Okay. Thank you all so much.